Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Infinity Query. In our previous video, we have derived the tan complexity for quick sort in best case. In this video, we are going to derive the tan complexity for quick sort in average case. Let's get started. So I was telling you that the average case for quick sort is when pivot element elements divide the array into two parts which may not necessarily equal right if they are equal it becomes the best case because at every iteration it will take n by 2 n by 2 then n by 4 n by 4 like this if you remember in our last video we have talked about this right this is the best case but if the partition for example if you have two elements here pivot here and three elements here this is the average case where is in best cases two elements here two elements here exactly equal number of elements correct so let's let's get started with the average case derivation and i have already talked to you that if you think that your array size will be either less than approximately less than n by 2 and will be greater than n by 2 so ideally asymptotically it won't it won't have any difference so it will follow the same as of best case that is n log n but let's drive it mathematically okay so how to do that so we'll consider we'll consider the array okay of size n which gets divided into two parts that is k and n minus k parts that is if you consider this as k and this will be n minus k that is total n elements is 5 right so 5 minus 2 will 3 that is n minus k correct so your array gets divided into k and n minus k so in that case what do you think Tie of n will be. Don't you think the time taken for n minus k plus time taken for this k, k and n minus k, which will be nothing but if you have written that m1 by n into sigma. Now there will be two sigmas that is from i equal to 1 to n minus 1 t of i plus sigma i equal to 1 n minus 1 t of n minus i now if you look very carefully if you look very carefully these are equally likely functions don't you think these are equally likely functions are you getting it so if these are equally likely functions so can i write 2 times n multiply by sigma i equal to 1 n minus 1 t of i I'm just doubling it. Two times I'm writing t of i. Okay. You can write equally likely function. So t of n looks like this. Now if you transfer n to this, so it becomes n into t of n is equals to 2 times sigma i equal to 1 n minus 1 t of i. Consider that equation 1. Now, for the next iteration, if you put instead of n, you put n minus 1. So, you get n minus 1 into t of n minus 1. So, you are taking the second. Okay. This was first. You are taking second. So, what you got? You got 2 into sigma i equal to 1 till n minus 2. Because here it will n minus. If you have taken n, n, it will go n minus 1. But if you put n minus 1, n minus 1, it will go n minus 2. t of i. If you don't understand how you got this, you just simply think that instead of n, I have put n minus 1 in this equation. Right? Now, if you subtract these, okay, subtract, subtract them, so what you will get? Can you tell me? You will get n into t of n minus n minus 1 into t of n minus 1. On this side, you will get t n minus 1 plus n square some constant 
minus n minus 1 whole square some constant. Are you getting it? If you put this here, you will get n into t of n is equals to t of n minus 1 multiply 2 plus n minus 1 plus some constant plus 2 times n constant minus constant. Now if you solve this becomes uh, 2 plus 1 that is n plus 1. So you will get n plus 1 times t of n minus 1 plus 2 times n into constant. Are you getting it? Are you getting it? Okay, so that's why I, I always say the average case, the best part is you drive for the uh, best case and say that these are actually likely functions. See, here also we are doing the same. If you see, we are considering these two functions as equally likely. So it's better that for the best case you consider equally likely and write that n log n because for best case it is easy because there the form it follows 2 n by 2 plus n. So you just put n by 4, you put n by 2 like this and you get the result easily. But in the average case you need to do a little bit of more uh, mathematics, right? Now it is all manipulation. So right, so I will manipulate and give you the answer and log n. So you get this result state right? that is now if you divide divide both side both side with n into n minus 1 what will get so it was n into t of n right so what if you divide this here what you will get you will get t of n n plus 1 is equals to t of n minus 1 upon n plus multiply by constant n plus 1. So considering this as equation 3, now if we put if we put n is equals to n minus 1, what it becomes? It becomes t of n minus 1 upon n is equals to t of n minus 2 upon n minus 1 plus 2 into some constant by value n. Now the equation 3 where right, this equation can be written as t of n n plus 1 is equals to t of n minus 2 upon n minus 1 plus 2 into some constant upon n plus 1 plus 2 into some constant upon n. Similarly Similarly, we can get the value of t n minus 2 by replacing n by n minus 2 in equation. Which equation? Equation 3, which we have derived. Correct? So, if you put that, so at last what you will get, I am just writing that. So, at last what you will get? We will get t of n upon n plus 1 which is equals to t of 1 by 2 plus some 2 into some constant and uh, you will get that complete sequence that is 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 so on 1 by n minus 1 right plus 1 by n plus 1 uh, n plus 1. So if you think this is nothing but t of n is equals to t of 1 upon 2 is nothing but t of 1. That is 1 by 2 only. You can remove this. It's a constant. This will become a constant. T of 1 is 1 only, right? T of 1 equals to 1 only. That is, if you sort one element in quick sort, it will take only a unit time. So what you get with? You are getting only 2 into constant. What you can put this? You This is nothing but log 2n multiply by this n plus one. So this becomes, I have neglected this, I have taken this as this and multiply this with n plus one. So what you get asymptotically t of n becomes what? If you check what you become, so it is 2 into constant multiplied by n into log 2n plus 2 into constant into log 2n. 
I already told you that when we consider t of n, we do not consider constants. So remove this. So n log n plus log n. So asymptotically, this is bigger. So t of n is equals to n log n for the average case. For the average case. And I know when I'm writing this, I, I, I myself knows that this process is little hectic. You should know some of the prerequisite. That is how to open the sigma, how to get uh, these terms, right? So you won't understand with this. That's why I always say is you can drive it for the best case and therefore you can write the explanation that since the equally likely functions will be there by n by 2 n by 2 we can consider that average case time complexity is also of the same n log n nature right so in case you understood it and you think that whatever we have done is good enough so please do like share and subscribe this video and in our next video we are going to drive for the worst case the worst case is again easy best and worst case are easy because there you understand the cons here we have defined so many sigmas we have taken so many assumptions see we are also doing assumptions for best case and the worst case also those assumptions are easy if you remember in best case we have taken 2 power k equals to n that is the least manipulation we have done but here we have done a lot of manipulations here here then we have done a lot of manipulations in this constant writing right that's why okay so please do subscribe our videos for more content thank you